I'm, I'm gonna do this, okay. My nails are purple. They look black. But they are purple. Um. I did a thing where I was like, I want to read a book. And then... I decided to reread Clockwork Angel. You see this? 400 and... Four hundred and eighty six pages of this. Three whole days. Three days. Three days. I read this book in six, two, four, eight bus journeys and like 20 minutes of me just lying in my bed. Eight bus journeys. And like just this. It's done. Done. Gone. Bye. And I. It literally, people say that I would love to go back and read this book with fresh eyes, like them people. And I'm just like, rereading this was more fun than reading it the first time. Because I knew exactly what was going on. I knew exactly what film was going to say. And I was like, Will, you're beautiful and I feel so bad for you. <laughs> and they loved it. So cute. Though I did have to skip the part where. I, he does something really nasty to Tessa at the end because, you know, I'm not about that life. <laughs> and it made me so happy. Because I really want to read books, but I'm like, what do I read? I have like the entirety of Booktube that I couldn't read. But I'm just sat here like, but I just. No. <laughs> I just wanna... I can't find the audiobook. For this. For Tales of Shadow Run Academy, because that's what I wanted to read, but then I was like, I can't find it, so then I did this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. They had so much fun. You have to believe the hero that comes to rescue you, even if he says that the sky is purple and made of hedgehogs. Hashtag Will Hire now. <laughs> He's... I was like, after a year of not reading this book, I'm like, I love Will Hire now, but I can't remember why I loved him. Because, you know, you forget some things, but then you read it again and you're like, ah, I remember now. <laughs> it's like, it's been two, two weeks, maybe, since I finished Broken Prince, which is the last book I fully read. And I still remember absolutely everything and why I love Reed Royal, <laughs> but like, I can't read that series because it's one of it's one of the series you know like with the, the popular youtubers like sasha and natasha where they read like the first three books in outlander and stopped reading them because they knew when they finished the series they're just gonna be completely and utterly depressed and gone and like i'm away from this world where am i <laughs> that's what i feel about the broken prince the um paper princess series like i finished that i'm dead this i finished it and i was like there's more books in the shadow hunter world so i was fine also cassandra claire is releasing the third book in the dark art versus series next year instead of in 2019 and <laughs> i'm so fucking 2018 is like the best year for books because we get the first book in the Magnus Bane series we get the third book in that series we get the next Shadow Me book comes out next year um the next the Akata novella comes out next year um um 
we're probably going to get like a lot more Raven Cycle TV show news next year. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> also like season three of Shadowhunters comes out next year. Mm. Pray for me. Like, actually pray for me, because Malik are finally in a good place. Good place. Also, if you stopped watching Shadowhunters, you've got to watch it again. Because, like, the producer or editor of someone, or the writer, one of the people, he's so open about spoilers. Like, completely fucking open about them. Like, you ask him a question, he answers it. Like, straight up answers the question. Like, the best thing that ever happened to me was I was on Instagram. And I, I was reading through Instagram and I saw that he... His, people post pictures of, like, his tweet and what the question was that somebody tweeted him. Somebody asked him if we would get drunk Alec in season three and he said yes. And I was like... To me, I'll die. I'll literally die. I'm gonna die. But yeah, I just came on to talk about this because I reread it and I was like, ah, I feel better now. This is the first book I've read in September. This is the only book I've read in September, and it's September the 16th. We're halfway through September, and I've only read one book. Like, one. In July, I read 18. 18 books. I read like four, four series in one month. I'm like, what book? What? I'm also like 167 pages into Hamilton, but like I stopped reading it because I just. I was telling myself I'd read one chapter a day and then. I got so far behind that I'm like, I'm supposed to read like fucking 12 chapters in one day and I'm like, I can't do that. The chapters are too long. Like, so I'm just gonna censor that book down to like, I'm gonna read some probably this month and then read some next month and some the month after and then yeah. But so far I've read this book and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited for next year. I'm also excited for War Cross by Marie Lu. I can't find the audiobook and I can't listen. I can't read the physical book. I don't have the physical book and I can't download the ebook. So I'm just waiting. I'm just over here waiting. I can't find the audiobook. So I'm like, but just wait. I'm gonna check like every few days on my website to see if it comes on. But I'm just waiting. Just waiting. Probably gonna read Clockwork Prince because, like, the book isn't as. It's just, like, a little bit bigger than this one. So it should take me, like, maybe like, fucking three days again. <laughs> but I'm not. I, I'm i not prepared to. I, I, will, I will get, like, in Clockwork Prince, I'll get, like, this far into the book. And then I cannot read on bus journeys because I'm, I'll be ready. The first time I read that book, I, I was so upset. So upset. Like, I was crying. Like, if anyone's seen Christine's morning period video, where she's just crying about a jade necklace. You, you know what that means in this series, the fucking jade necklace. And I was like, I don't get that. And you're reading the book, and you're holding the book while you're reading it, and you're just like, stupid jade necklace. Like, just you know, because it's stupid. It's stupid. I hate it. It's stupid. I need to get the corporate prints in book form, but I'm gonna try. I can't. I want to read books like I do. But I don't know what I want to read. Nah. I need like a book series that just starts off with a fucking bang. Yeah. 
I just need, I just need that. Or I need to read something that I've already read it before, but like, I don't read really anything I've read before. I also kind of want to read something like Harry Potter, where you watch a film or like a TV show and you're like, ah, oh, I know what's going on here, but like, I want to see how it develops in the book. Like, I could read Half-Blood Prince, because I'm like, three chapters in, but I'm like, nah. I had my Harry Potter kick, and I got over it. <laughs> That's what happens to me. I get kicks, and then I get over it. <laughs> Except for this. I'm gonna read this entire series. But I started reading Clockwork Princess when I got the physical book. There it is. I got the physical book, and I got, like, a good chunk of the way into the hat. So when I... Re when I get to Clockwork Princess in the series, I'm probably just gonna read from where I left off. Because I can physically read books I've read before. Easily. Because I'm just like, ah, I remember this. Ah, yeah, yeah. Did I just see Magnus? I'm like, <laughs> literally, I was in college and I was walking up the stairs in college and I'm like just listening to the book just like la 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 and then it's like Tessa this is Magnus Bane and I'm like shit I'm gonna fall down the stairs <laughs> literally nobody was walking up the stairs thankfully because I literally had to stop so I could take a snapchat and be like when you're reading a book and you're walking on the stairs and then Magnus Bane enters and you nearly fall down the fucking stairs because <laughs> that's what happened to me I'm gonna, okay, this is 12 minutes long. I'm going to try and post a video every day from now on because I forgot for my first like two weeks. So I'm gonna try and do it. But like, here's my first book read. Yes, motherfucker, yes. I wanna try and read some short books, like poetry. Oh, like short books, but I can't. All I want to do is reread. That's my thing this year. It's just rereading. Like, I've reread the first two books of Acknowledgements. I've reread this. I've reread the entire Raven Cycle. Except for the first one. I've been lost to read the Raven Cycle. It's literally like. What you shouldn't do is you shouldn't read Akatar and the Paper Princess series in the same month. Because they just hurt you. <laughs> they play with your mind and brain and powers and that. Yeah. So I'm gonna think about what I want to read. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow about what I want to read. But <laughs> Mr. Herondale is going to leave for now before I start getting into a rant about Mr. Herondale because there are some things then annoy me. Not about Mr. Herondale, about what people say about him. Because why he's whatever. I have to go. <laughs> okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to William. William. Also, one last thing. Mild spoilers. If you don't know what happens in their love trying in the love triangle in this book, just like Goodbye. Bye. Okay. But, like, if Will, if if Tessa and Jem name their child Will, or if they have a child and name it Will, say goodbye to me. Because <laughs> I'll kill myself. Smiles. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 Look how beautiful he is. Okay, bye.